Canada's real estate market is a daunting place these days. A million dollars might get you a small home in cities like Toronto or Vancouver, but on the East Coast, it could score you a castle nestled on Nova Scotia's Cape Breton Island. CTV's Atlantic Bureau Chief Chris Anashkate reports. Tucked along the Trans-Canada Highway in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, sits a castle fit for a king or queen, complete with a million-dollar lakeside view across the road. It was the 163 acres of nature, I think, that, that struck me as a place that I could go to and a lot of people could go to for solitude. Built in 1992, the nearly 10,000 square foot property was a five-star bed and breakfast. With 11 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms, along with a commercial kitchen, dining rooms, a sauna, and a wine cellar. It took me six tours um, with my friends and family to know exactly what was where. And uh, so there you go. It, it, the size of it is, is just incredible. The property went back on the market in November for just under a million dollars and sold to Elaine Knight from London, Ontario the following month, who was close to retiring after a career in healthcare. I just thought it'd be a great place to work from and to share with other people in the community. It was first owned by a retired auto industry couple from Ontario with the late husband building the castle as an anniversary gift to his wife. Then two siblings from Nova Scotia purchased it in 2018. Knight says she has numerous plans for the castle, including weddings, retreats and community fundraisers. I was there a couple of weeks ago and there was some deer on the front lawn drinking from the brook and I just thought, this is the place that I want to spend my golden years. And by mid or late summer, you too could one day live in Nova Scotia royalty, if only for a little while. Chris Natchkate, CTV News, Bucklaw, Nova Scotia.